Locomancer is a model train building simulator. It is available for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift for about $13 US. It also offers a free demo. Here's my review of it in its current state as of April 2017. Firstly, the gameplay. Everything you do, the settings, your building materials, controls, etc. are all found in your toolbox, which is just magnificently designed. It is an absolute joy to use. Your supplies are found in drawers that you physically pull out. You'll find everything from tracks to trains, buildings, trees, slot cars, even a damn Christmas tree. Every drawer also has multiple pages cycled through via a dial at the bottom. While I found the tutorial somewhat lacking, the brilliant interface made the learning curve pretty easy, though a few things did take a while for me to figure out. Movement is done via teleportation, no option for smooth motion. This isn't such a big deal since movement isn't that big of a part of the gameplay, but the option still would have been nice. The game also lets you scale yourself down, which gives you a new perspective on your creations. Really nice. Now, no model train simulator would be complete without a way to control your trains. This is done using a separate control box which boasts a range of bells and whistles, pun intended. But that isn't all. With the press of a button, you are in your train. So freaking awesome. Oh, and yeah, you can also drive the slot cars, which is also pretty damn nice. Moving on to sound. This is where the game drops the ball a bit. A lot of the sounds sound very off, almost like they accidentally left the placeholders in. Now music. In the corner of the room is a sweet cassette player with a couple of tapes that you have to manually load in, which is a really nice mechanic. Now, I quite enjoyed the music, though for a game that I would inevitably spend hours in, a few more tracks would have been nice. The graphics are spot on, the style is consistent and the train smoke is a really nice touch. Once happy with your creation, saving is done via a camera found in the top of your toolbox. Just snap a photo and it'll appear in the lid, ready to load up for next time. The game also comes with a few pre-built worlds which give you a good idea of the things that are actually possible in this game. Now obviously I haven't covered everything you can do in this game, such as dim the lights, vacuum things, paint things, crash things, extinguish the fires from the things you've crashed, and shoot a freaking cannon. But in the interest of keeping this video closer to 5 minutes than 10, we'll move on to the verdict. If you are one for sandbox builders, if you even have a passing interest of model trains, do not miss this title. And even if you're still on the fence, at the very least pick up the demo. This game is a gem.